Hi everyone! During our previous tutorial, we've created consolidated table with combined revenues, discounts, cost of goods sold and units sold. All the data was tagged inside one column. The tag column will allow us create a tag slicer further in our dashboard. We will be able to see how discounts may affect your gross margin. Today we need to extract the values of the revenues, cost of goods sold, discounts and units sold from the values column and then we will create measures that we'll be using in our Power BI dashboard. And this will be the topic of our today's tutorial. This playlist will be focused on how a business owner can build a sales dashboard from scratch. I will be showing the whole process from the very beginning. All tutorials will be very short and comprehensive. We will have the following assumptions while building this sales plan dashboard. Assumption 1. You're a business owner. Assumption 2. You need to create some business environment where weekly or monthly you will be uploading a new portion of sales data. This tool will be transforming your sales data and will be showing the business owner the trends of the revenues, cost of goods sold, gross margin and units sold by different categories for the selected period of time and monthly. Assumption 3. You don't have financial or data analyst or data architect or SQL engineer in your team. So this is going to be a DIY project. And final assumption. You have just basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel. If all these assumptions are about you, stay tuned. In the description of this video, you will also see the links to other tutorials where we build completely different dashboard from scratch, like profit and loss statement dashboard and many, many other. If you find value in my content, kindly remember to tap the like button and subscribe. All the tutorial links you will be able to find in the description of this video as well. You will also be able to find data set for your own practice in the description of this video. Follow us for more. First of all, let's start with building revenues calculated column based on the tag name. We will be using if function. The spelling of this DAX formula is the same as we have it in Microsoft Excel. Now we are moving to cost of goods sold. Then we are creating discounts column. And finally, we create unit sold column. Thank you. 
Now let's create measures. We will start with revenues. We will be using some function for this purpose. Spelling is also very simple as in Microsoft Excel. Now we are moving to cost of goods sold. Then we're moving to discounts measure. And finally, we build unit sold measure. So now we're done with main measures and we can finally move to our dashboard. This will be the topic of our next tutorial. I hope you will enjoy this Microsoft Excel and Power BI journey. All the tutorial links you will be able to find in the description of this video. There I will also place the data set that you will be able to download for your own practice. In the description of this video, you will also see the links on other tutorials, where we will build completely different dashboards from scratch, like profit and loss statement dashboard and many many other. If you find value in my content, kindly remember to tap the like button and subscribe. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. You can also order building Excel decision making tools for your business, Power BI dashboards and other financial models. Thanks for watching, see you next tutorials and follow us for more.